If you fool me once, it's because I didn't think a guard was needed. If you fool me twice, it's because I didn't learn the lesson, so it bears repeating. If you try the same play three times running, it's because you know what's coming, and you didn't come to lead, you came to purposefully be misleading. Democracy is dry, it's been a century bleeding. The husk is gaping open to the sky, out in a field where all the sheep just keep on circling and worrying and bleeding. They're waiting for a shepherd that they've tried to hide their faith in, but he's so appealing. They gladly give their fleece, it's such a freeing feeling, that even when he leads them to the ledge and starts to urge them on, they're positively beaming. They were told that they were on their way to save democracy, so even as they plummet, they just gloat, they don't consider screaming. And halfway up the cliff, the shepherd's cozy little mittens wrap around the staff of shattered human hopes on which he's leaning. He shows the gentle grin that used to stir your inner spark, and he says, not me, us, as he gestures to the oligarchs. He knows that if he runs, they're going to stop him like a stolen car. And he'll easily surrender, because it bought a lot of time for laying mines and all the grassroots. Suddenly, the tiniest of movements gets you blown apart. Suddenly, you're in a play that's set on an election day, and voting for the fire, unaware you're playing Joe of Arc. Suddenly, the shepherd pulls the rug and slips a hood across your clueless mug, and everything goes zero dark. I'm going to warn you once more before it's 2024, and you fuck around and find out who your heroes are. <laughs> Take a step back from the herd, and you'll learn that you can spot who all the shearers are. If you really want to know the product that they're selling, I can take you where the mirrors are. If you think your voice is finally ready, I can tell you where the lyrics are. You see, I hid them in a box I had to bury beneath the cobble when they carpet bombed the promenade and raided all the street bazaars. No, all we got's the marketplace, and you're too broke to even bother asking what the options for your treatment are. Suddenly, the raw debris of homeless human dignity will find it has a hundred teeth for every badge and sweeper's arm. Suddenly, they'll speak in solidarity, and each is armed. Suddenly, the sheep can see the shepherd for his truest form, and all pitching at once to help them buy the farm. And now it's zero dark. And all is calm and peaceful, save a distant wail of sirens that approach beside the flames of dawn. Suddenly, the carrot's just a string that's on a stick, and all your movements make you sick because the prize is gone. Now we could go and flee into the forest low and meek, or we can exercise our right to speak and go and graze on Biden's lawn. Because he's been sowing seeds to seep a toxin out to sap a bit from each of us and keep on leeching decades after Biden's gone. So regardless who they summon out of hell to come and do the job, it will not feel like Biden's gone. But in that time of hopelessness, you cannot trust the shepherd when he once again comes asking you to humor him his siren song. And it's cute that you can innocently, honestly assume that's just a symptom of a system that was wired wrong. And not the standard feature, basic function, primary objective of a mass hypnosis firebomb. Yeah. You don't need to know the words to cry along. Because someday it'll hit you like an officer who pistol whipped their ride along. Who broke his jaw and kept his job and kept it moving right along. That voting isn't red or blue or black or white or right or wrong. Voting's like a firing squad where you can choose the firearm. It's slow extinction by and large. It's Super Tuesday, supercharged. It's all your futures, roots and all, just tossed out on a garbage barge. It's everybody dropping out to push the biggest oligarch. It's everybody voting fire, registered as John Mark. Thank <laughs> you.